Hey guys, Nas here with another video. In this video, I'll be going over the best build for Alcaris. Even though I absolutely despise his personality, I have to admit, he's one of the strongest units with his unique class. Tireur d'élite. Chercheur d'élite. Tireur d'élite. Yeah, that. This translates to the marksman, so I'll be referring to that going forward in this video. We'll go over how to make Alcaris your MVP from the moment you acquire him to the very end of the game. So with that out the way, let's get into this, yeah? Alcaris joins the party in Chapter 7 and already starts to outshine Etsy, who's your other bow user. This is made possible because of his unique skill, Get Behind Me. This gives him plus 3 strength if an ally within 2 spaces was attacked. This is a nice damage gain and only gets better when you can hit 2 times or quadruple, as this makes the 3 strength turn into 6 and 12 respectively. And this can be activated each turn as long as you position properly. Here's something I wish I knew. As soon as Alcris hits level 10, use a Master Seal on him right away. I unfortunately didn't do this until level 20, so please don't make the same mistake that I did. Some of you are probably wondering, why should I Master Seal so early when level 20 is the cap? In Fire Emblem Engage, the item shop sells the second seal. This allows you to reset a unit that is level cap back to level 1 so you could level them up all over again. In previous games you couldn't do this, but hopefully this answers your question. Getting into your advanced job as soon as possible means you will get better stat growth with no downsides. At level 5, we get the best skill in the game. Luna ignores half of the enemy's defense and resistance allowing our arrows to pierce them for a one-shot kill. This is based off our dexterity stat which caps at 44 making this very reliable and you can go even further with emblem rings. After chapter 11 you'll have Lin's emblem ring. This is by far the best emblem ring to have on Alcris from my experience. This gives him raw speed so he can take advantage of Get Behind Me and Luna. Speed Taker allows you to maintain a speed difference of 5 as each kill gives him plus 2 speed. This caps out at 10 which means a level 20 Lin will give Alcris 15 plus speed from his base. Alacrity allows us to attack before our enemy gets a chance to counter attack. This means we get our attack and our follow up attack without taking any damage. On top of all of this, Astra Storm gets a covert bonus that gives plus 10 attack range which I use to snipe valuable targets or thieves that are trying to run away with my precious loot. Here's something the game doesn't tell you. Each hit of Astra Storm has a chance to activate Luna. Did you know that? This is why I believe Alcris is the best emblem ring user for Lin. Now on to inherit skills. This is going to take a while to accumulate if playing on Maddening as we don't get skirmishes to farm, but after chapter 16 you get Erika's Emblem Ring. This allows us to acquire Lunar Brace which is a 20% damage increase based off our enemy's defense. At this point in the game enemies have at least 20 defense meaning this is 4 damage per hit. While this may seem low, keep in mind this is 100% free damage and it'll only get better the more defense the enemy has. Now during my run, I was only able to realistically acquire 3,362 SP for my Alcris. This means I didn't have enough to buy another skill, but if I did have the points, I would invest in Raft from Ike. This gives us a 1% chance to critically hit for each HP we're missing, capping at 30. If you calculate the damage you would take to be exactly at 30 or a little over, then you'll completely destroy even bosses with critical Lunas. The last thing to make this build come to life is the Brave Bow you'll obtain in Chapter 20. One of the thieves will get their sticky fingers on it, so make sure you kill them before they escape. This bow allows us to always attack twice if we start combat, and if we have a speed difference of 5 or more, we'll get an additional 2 attacks. All 4 of these hits have a chance to activate Luna or critically hit, making Alcris the best bow user in the game. If you don't want to wait until chapter 20 to get the Brave Bow, then you could refine the Silver Bow to the Brave Bow. You get one of these for free from Fagato during chapter 12. As for engravements, I personally went with Holy to increase the might, reduce the weight, and give us 20 of Void. Hopefully this guide helped make your disappointment of an Alcris a little more confident to carry your group. And don't forget, if this video brought you value, please leave a like and consider subscribing to see more as I play a wide array of RPG games and I break them down just like this. Until the next video, I'll see ya!